my name is George, uh, for those that don't know me. And Eric, he sort of came out of nowhere for me. I, I used to do these parties, and he was never my student. But I remember one day at one of my socials, he just walked up to me and just started talking to me and said, George, you know, there's certain songs that for some reason just don't seem right to dance on too. <laughs> and, you know, there's other songs that, that fit better. And he said, is it true that there are certain songs that you can dance on to and certain songs you can't? I said, you know, yes and no. And I kind of explained to him. And I thought, okay, that's, okay, that's normal. That happens sometimes. And then he came back to me about a couple weeks later. Hey, George, I danced with a couple, couple ladies on two uh, this past weekend, and I felt really comfortable. And so at that point, I'm thinking, who is this guy? I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> but he just keeps talking to me about this. <laughs> so but I'm thinking, okay, good. You know, he's, he's, he's motivated, so keep going. And then time went on, and then after that, uh, he would come up to me and say, hey, you like this picture I just took you? <laughs> yeah, cool. And then I would do a performance at uh, the showcase or somewhere, and he would say, hey, come here for a second, George. I would sit down. He had his laptop. He has the performance on video. He's like, hey, do you want this? And I'm thinking, um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so they would give me a DVD right there on the spot. And so I started thinking, okay, this guy's trying to sell me something. <laughs> As a photographer, videographer, I'm just waiting for the pitch, you know? <laughs> Six months go by, a year go by, a year and a half goes by, and, you know, it escalates from videos to bracelets and chocolate. <laughs> and he's asking me to go out fishing with him. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but it's getting kind of weird. But, but I started to look around, I started noticing that he was doing the same things for other people. And, you know, still in my head, I was always thinking, I'm just waiting for him to say, Eric's Productions, I do videos and pictures for everybody. <laughs> but at no point did he ever ask for anything in return. He really just did the things that he did out of, out of the love that he had. And I remember one time I had a party, and it was going towards the end, it was dying down. I think I only had 10 people there that night, and he was one of 10. And stayed to the end, and just like Star said, I'm cleaning up, and I'm kind of upset because I've been here for five hours for 10 people, and I'm ready to go home, and he's just following behind me, and I'm just trying to clean up and get out of there. And he's talking to me about fish, and I'm just like, man, I just want to go home. And then, you know, finally out of nowhere, he said, George, he said, listen, man, he said, don't stop. He said, he said, just keep going. He said, you're doing a great job. He said, you know, there are more people taking on to what you're doing than what you know. And I see it all the time. And it's funny that a guy that I barely even knew and I didn't see outside of there was, was more motivated about something that I was doing You just don't see people like that, that just do things just because, just because they're kind. And I don't think I've ever met a person like that. And, and it wasn't until this moment that I, that I realized really how special he was. And, you know, I don't know if I ever meet anybody else like that. And he really changed me big time and made me rethink about the things that I do and why I do things and what I can do more for people. So. I, I just want to say that I'm, I'm happy that I had a chance to meet him and experience the kindness that he had, and I hope that in the years that I have left that I can be a quarter of the person that he was. And, and you know, God bless you for raising him the way that you did, and he was a great, great man, and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart.